So, uh, I mean, I guess I'm led to believe it'll be a triple threat next time. I don't know, this, this match gave me a headache. <laughs> that's why I said this one. I was like, what's going on? Uh, so first of all, I was listening to Bliss and I was thinking, okay, it's going to happen, you know, on a SmackDown or the next pay-per-view. And then, no, Naomi comes down, I'm thinking, oh, right, a squash match. Uh, no, not a squash match. Um, an actual a disappointment. I was like, mm-hmm. okay, yeah, like, just I'm going with completely with what you said. Bliss is the number one contender. Surely this match still has to happen. You know, people want to see this. I mean, I want to see it. I mean, I think Bliss is a good wrestler, uh, and I think Becky's a great wrestler. Yeah, and I, I, I'm, I'm assuming Becky would have won anyway, mm-hmm. despite the result. Yeah, yeah. Here. But come on, like. <laughs> Put some faith in someone, you know. <laughs> no faith, no faith, no, uh, no George Michael here. Um, and the match, what? Uh, just over five minutes, nice and long. And uh, to, to me, this was—I mean—and I'm being nice here, by the way. One and a half stars. This, this, this was that good for me. This, this was just nothing. This, the, the ending to it. Lost it half a star for me because that was even more ridiculous by that point. But um, you know, and I have nothing against Naomi because, in all honesty, I actually think she's quite underrated as a as a wrestler. I've always thought that for a long time because. 